Hello and welcome to our practice exam. My name is Katie and I'm your practice examiner. These questions of this test are designed to stimulate the IELTS speaking test. Let's start. What's your first name, please? My name is um, Yakubu Aisha. Thanks, Aisha. At the beginning of the test, you will be required to provide some ID. But since this is only a practice test, we don't need to do that today. Okay. I want to begin by talking about you. Do you live in an urban or rural area? Um, yeah, I live in, in an urban area. Uh, well, it's uh, located in the city of Lagos. That is the central in my country, and it's a uh, a nice place to, to live in, more friendly, and then there are lots of beautiful houses and a bit of beautiful um, places for sightseeing. Yeah, so I live in an urban area. Thank you. Thank you. Do you see yourself living in a city in the future? Yes, um, um, I believe I could. Um, see myself say, uh, living in a, in a city in the near, nearest future because I used to go there, you know, um, sometimes when it is necessary, but not really, but, well, I see myself settling down in the city because there are more uh, better opportunities there. And you can actually expand your horizon way of there also in the city, and then get to know um, the norms and uh, the culture, the way of life, you know, in a, so that you can adjust better to other things, which is much okay. more um, of advantage. What jobs are available in rural areas? Well, there are a lot of um, careers in the area. area. Um, the, there is uh, trading. Also, there are also um, apprentice jobs. Um, there are many, actually most are many jobs and jobs like a plumber, um, you know, carpentry work, and then a mechanic, you know, things that are easily, uh, or, um, that you can actually lay your hands on easily to do. Those are the kind of jobs that is found in the, in the urban area where you can have an easy, easy access to. Okay. To do. Why do people live yeah. in rural areas? Um, yes, I believe people uh, would want to live in a rural area because of the serenity. Um, well, it is not as, um, it is not as uh, rowdy as the city and then yeah uh, the, the way of life that people uh, tend to uh, be open they are open to one another there's this uh, compassionate uh, feeling between them they 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 help each other when it's necessary they they know each other because they are not really much they are not overcrowded like the city so I think they believe in the simple way of life uh, that exists in the rural area. That is why people would actually settle for the rural area. So mm. then they, are, they are much more uh, fresh. Uh, rural areas. Like in the market. Yes. Yeah, in the rural area. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the topic of seaside. Do you often go to the seaside? Yes, uh, I often visit the seaside a lot uh, because I, I love the water body as a whole. Uh, I like to feel the, 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 the sun beach, um, the, the sun in the beach uh, with my feet. I love to see when the, when the sun sets, especially. And when I, when, I, when I get a good spot to sit down home, I like to feel the cool breeze on my body. And then the serenity, um, if one can actually reflect on day, on the day's activity by oneself, or you, I can actually go with people if I choose to. But most of the time, I love going at 
visit from the place last off, just to have some me time. And then there's this connectivity, you um, just looking at the beautiful sea color, you feel uh, kind of at a, a, a peace within one mind. So I love visiting the seaside. Now, I want to talk about dentists. Do you mind visiting the dentist? Um, well, when if it's necessary, uh, once in a while, I, I try to visit the dentist at least twice in a year just to get my 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 teeth uh, observed in case there might be anything that can that will come of attention, you know, to in, in order for me to avoid anything that can cause damage in the future. So I visit the dentist at least twice in in a year. I don't mind at all. Okay. Why are some people nervous about the dentist? I want to believe some people might be nervous about the dentist because of um, or they don't know or unexpected um, unexpected um, creaking on a, or, or when they see the machine and it becomes scary. And, uh, you know, uh, this is not something which they are accustomed with. Um, they want, they get scared of, uh, with, even the putting on the, the doctors having the white robe on, scares some people. So I want to believe they will, uh, you know, uh, be scared of, of the dentist because of all this. And they don't know how the procedures are being done. They are new to it. And even those that do, um, visit regularly still have the fear, you know, because uh, nobody wants to uh, have some foreign objects being inserted into their mouth. So, that's for the reason. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, as this, uh, our nurse asked me something. All right, now I'm gonna ask you the last questions. Is visiting the dentist expensive in your country? Yes, um, general speaking, uh, medical are all um, very expensive in my country. Yes, then visiting the dentist book especially because um, th there are not many of those professionals and I think it's because of the cost of um, um, ac acquiring a certificate of dentistry. And then it takes a lot you know, to go to school to be educated or you to be a dentist, and then when they come into practice, they, uh, they tend to inflate the prices just to see, just the cons of a dentist is very expensive in my country, you know, because it's not something which people are really, um, they visit regularly. So because of this, it actually um, becomes Great. uncomfortable for people to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great, thank you. Um, um, Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about one to two minutes. And before you talk, you have one minute to prepare and one to two minutes to answer. Let me share you my screen right now. This is your card. Remember that don't worry if I stop to you answering after two minutes because after reviewing that, you will be having one minute for your preparations. Okay, so your preparations start now. Hello. Hi, Aziz, we are recording some speaking part that will be submitted later, yep. Please stay on the line. Okay. You may now start speaking. Yeah, um, well, so, um, I would like to talk about um, 
a very uh, difficult um, choice. Uh, I had to make some time back um, while I was so much younger. Uh, I, then I used to stay with my grandparents and um, uh, there was a particular day um, which I was supposed to go to the to the grocery store and I decided to have some other things done. And well, my, my grandmother being a, a very, uh, a, a person who is precise and who likes to get her things organized, um, could actually not allow things to happen because there were some particular uh, things we needed to do. And, and we had to make some food in, at home. And well, I made, I, I had to just uh, um, make, make the decision to go to the, to the grocery store around 9 p.m. in the noon. Well, I, it was so uncomfortable and, and not uh, 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 an appropriate time for me to visit to, to, the, uh, to the grocery store. So I had to do it because my grandmother was already fidgeting. She was already getting on and um, she was already being nervous because uh, she needed to do this before the day break. And uh, uh, she had to go supply some particular people, uh, some things, some pastries where she, she had to make. Well, I, 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 am, I was sent alongside my younger sister to go because it's very, sometimes it's, it might be very dangerous at night, especially um, where I reside. And my younger sister has to follow me just to be like a chaperone for me to get to the store and be able to have the orders of things which I, I needed at the particular okay. time. Thank you very and much. Then, well, uh, that's the end of your speaking part number two. Now let's go and move on to part number three. Let's talk about making decisions. What type of difficult decisions do governments have to make? Um, well, um, the government itself as a whole, um, I believe uh, has lots on the plate. And then uh, making decision uh, is something that is crucial in order for them to be able to achieve their goal as a government. Uh, and then um, empowering the youth. Sometimes it's kind of, I want to believe the difficult um, decisions for uh, the government. Because they, and it, the youth uh, as a whole it, are not people who are, it can be easily convinced, okay? So uh, when the government uh, decides to empower them with, uh, different um, uh, task, you know, like uh, helping them acquire job, you know, and the things which they can lay their hands on and fetch them capital in order to become useful in the society. Uh, it's not easy to carry people along when you're trying to govern them, you know, especially when you are into the democratic system of governance. Okay. So um, thank you. Should young people be given more decision powers? Well, I, it, I want to believe uh, it depends on the age uh, range, you know, for those who are a bit mature, starting from, I want to believe from the age of um, 20 years. Yeah, yeah, they can't have some decision making. It can't be considered because you never can tell uh, them having new ideas about uh, different things you know, of life, which they can inculcate into the system and then can help the system to you know, improve. So yeah, decision making, uh, for those who are uh, believed to be more exposed and of the age range, then you know, that can, actually comprehend matter quickly, they should be given the opportunity to, to make decisions. Okay. You know, to have a say in the society, to have a say in the government. As what a are election, I mean, oh, sorry, why are elections important? Sorry, I didn't get that. Yes, why elections important? Why is the election okay, important? Um, Something like this. Yeah, I believe election. Yes, yes, yes. I, I believe election um, is very important 
because it, it, it gives opportunity to people uh, to make their own decision about who they would like to see that leader, you know, um, like a, a democratic um, mean of, like a democratic mean of governance. So, um, yeah, having an election gives people a sense of belonging and also gives them a, a sense of importance for them to feel important in, in the society. So that it doesn't look like you know, their feelings are being overrided and they're not so, they don't feel taken for granted in some particular area. And they, whenever they see the leader, they believe, yeah, it was their choice to make. It was their choice and um, put their accepting this person in such a position and when uh, assigning uh, this responsibility to this person in particular. So by having an election, it, uh, it makes it more um, de de democratic instead of being autocratic. A not autocratic mode of uh, governance is when someone just decides out of the blue to lead others, you know, not giving other people a say. Okay. So why the democratic system is people come together Mm -mm. to make an election. Okay, very good. That's really great speaking. Thank you very much. That's the end of our speaking test. Hi, Aziz. Thanks.